Hey gang, Jack Blair here, and I uh, just wanted to uh, walk through something that uh, I found at a thrift store uh, not too long ago. Uh, I'm always looking at ways to get all of my media that will eventually erode into digital, which I know that'll erode eventually, but it'll take a lot longer. And I found uh, this little guy. This is a uh, a hypertape to MP3 converter. Uh, and it is sealed in the box, so I thought we could open it and take a look. Uh, this, uh, I found a listing on Amazon. Uh, the prices are uh, gone though, and the reviews are uh, decidedly mixed. So I think it's going to depend on how serious you are about the sound conversion of whether you think this will be a good product or not. Uh, apparently from the reviews, if you actually uh, push on the door, uh, on the door that holds the tape, it will improve the sound quality. So we might give that a shot. But, uh, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. So this has a, a hanger, obviously. So, Let's take a look here. Uh, it converts tapes into MP3 files, which into his computer, whatever. Um, as you can see, includes the software and a USB cable. Converts cassettes to MP3, 3.5 millimeter jack for headphones or speakers, uh, USB or battery powered design. This is from the company Hype. And a bunch of stuff. Here's the back. One year limited warranty converts converts tapes into MP3 files again. Uh, portable and lightweight. Mm. Uh, conversion software included. All right, and this is uh, 2012. So this is a 10 year old product. I don't think that one year limited warranty uh, is going to work anymore. Plus, I got it at a secondhand shop, even though it's. Uh, Brand new. So let's go ahead and just cut our way in here gently. Gently. Fold that up for safety. And let's see what we find. All right, one flap, two flaps. And all right, so we've got. USB, this is a crap. I'll have to look it up. I can never remember if mini and mini is micro and micro is mini in my head. So we'll go ahead. Keep away from children. May cause suffocation. Pretty sure that's talking about the bag. Oh, and a lovely little tiny, tiny, tiny. Uh, I don't know if it's a DVD or CD, but We've got instructions and that is it for the box. Okay. So we'll set that over there. So here is the unit itself. Let's get it out of here. Okay, so there's all the good information. HY2010-TP, USB 2.0 and USB 1.1. Windows 97, 90, wait. There wasn't a Windows, was there a Windows 97 and no one told me? Huh. Windows 97, Windows 98 SE, Windows 2000, Windows ME, Windows Vista, and Windows 7. So apparently Windows 95 and Windows XP. What? Oh well, anyways. All right, nice shiny. Reflective up here, stop, fast forward. Rewind play. We've got hinges. We've got the open button, the volume, the headphones, and the USB. And it opens 
like this, which I thought was pretty cool. And then the batteries go there. Let me go get some batteries. Be right back. All right, I am back with batteries. Nice, uh, lovely rechargeables in a loop. These are the double A, just as it requested. So we're gonna go ahead, open this up, which is this. This reminds me of uh, the Transformers projectiles from things like Ironhide. And let's look in there, okay. And... Oh, the direction is over there. So put the back one in first, okay, good choice. And then this side in, and then push it down. Okay, and now that we've got batteries, if we push play, there we go. All right, so now we are ready for tape. And we'll give that a shot. We'll, I'll record some, some playback directly from it. And then I'll also, uh, we'll hook up the, the USB cable and we'll get that going as well. That's still just weird. All other ones that I know of open this way. So I don't know what's going on there, but it was a choice. All right, well, joke's on me. Uh, the batteries needed to charge. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the instructions real quick and see what light they might shed. Here's the driver. I'll go ahead and dump this. There we go, CD. So it is a CD. We'll look at that later. And the instruction manual. I am not expecting a whole lot. Uh, just outlining and everything. Oh, he uses audacity. That's funny. No extra driver is required. What? Okay, then why do... Wait, now I'm even more curious. Whatever. Okay. Uh, enter the installation CD. It will auto-run the program. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so it installs probably an older version of Audacity. Uh, Audacity will display a control bar for you to edit and manage your recordings. Press the record button, push play. Wow, it's actually got a... It's more of a tutorial on Audacity. Okay, so we've got the mighty Dell here. Uh, this is uh, running a Vista business. And we're gonna go ahead and pop this in here. I know that it does not already have uh, Audacity on it. So we'll see how this goes. I just realized I don't think I've checked the DVD player on this machine. Oh, it's spinning. It's alive. I just want to open the folders. Yeah, so there's the uh, Audacity setup. Let's see. We got a lame encoder. Okay, so there we go. Audacity 1.2.6. 
Så går vi bare ind. And install this. Now, normally I would just go to the website and download it, but I'm worried about compatibility. So we'll we'll see what's going on here first. We'll launch Audacity. English. All right, so here we are with Audacity. And we're gonna do two things. We're gonna just plug the 35 millimeter jack in and run it off, run uh, this little guy off the batteries just to see how that goes. And then we're also going to uh, do it directly through the USB and see how that goes. So we'll plug this in. Uh, we're gonna label this as a line in. Ah, uh, let's, oh, nope, that's me. I think it's the line in, is what we want. And we're gonna record it in mono. Okay. And okay, so it can't hear me. And there's the singing. Okay, now I do know that there, uh, so the I was having problems with the battery earlier and I read online that it also had uh, this problem. But one of the things that it does is that the battery doesn't seem to be powerful enough to turn all the gears in here. And it's got two batteries in it. And it might just be that this was, it needs the oomph of alkaline batteries and rechargeables uh, don't give that great, big of an oomph. But uh, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and we've got about a minute of that now. So we'll go ahead and stop. We're going to stop. And then we will rewind. And we're basically going to do the same thing. And now, just to make sure that there is no confusion, we're going to go ahead and unhook the 35 millimeter from both things and we're gonna plug this little guy in here and it said that it didn't need a driver so installing device Okay, my device is ready to use. Okay, so let's see what what the drop down shows it as. So that's what we were using before. Line in. Okay. USB plug and play audio. Okay. So we've we've got it plugged in. 
it's going off. I haven't messed with the volume knob at all. And we're going to go ahead and get this going again. Push record. And it's hearing line noise, which is weird. Push play. So we've got nothing. This will be the hiss of the tape. And then there's the singing. It looks like it's coming across a lot quieter than it did before. Now I won't change any of these. I'm just gonna play them in the, drop them in the file. Santa baby, just live a sable land of the tree for me. Bid it up, good girl, Santa baby. So hurry down the chimney tonight. Santa baby, just live a sable land of the tree for me. So the mechanism here works like this. There's the switch on the side, it opens this up, and normally there would be a, a little thing up here, but there's not. You literally just drop it in and it kind of sits there, and then it closes together. Now when I did the, the push on the thing, it didn't do anything and I pushed on it while I had the tape in here and that doesn't feel bad at all but if you have the thing out of it like you can this is very very thin wobbly plastic just so just so you guys know what this looks like so there you have it, the Hype Tape 2 MP3 in its full glory. Um, it works, so it does do that. Um, for the, the, I saw a whole range of these from various different manufacturers uh, going all the way from about $20 uh, on Amazon. Uh, going all the way up to uh, 40 50 dollars and didn't really see a difference in much of anything uh, I am fascinated that this actually shows up as it didn't need a driver so it shows up directly as the the USB that was nice uh, as far as using this to if I were going to archive, if I were looking to archive family tapes, this is not good enough for that. Because if I'm going to archive something, I want my children and my grandchildren to be able to hear it as best as possible. So I would, uh, rather than aim for something like this, look for an older model uh, Sony Walkman and then uh, use it through there. Or if you have access to a stereo deck uh, I would go that route because this just doesn't have the I mean I don't know the disc had audacity on it and that was it so it's super weird to just work on work on that uh, but it did work uh, so if you do want to archive uh, some tapes and you see one of these kicking around for four dollars like I did that is a perfectly reasonable price to get some kind of backup until you find a, a decent uh, tape deck but that's it for me uh, I hope you guys have had fun uh, taking a look at this with me and thank you very much for watching and as always play on